Hello everybody and welcome to EasyParasha.com The ceremony of Matan Torah was the biggest ceremony that was in the world till this time. Why God chosen to make the ceremony in the desert? He didn't find a better place to do it. So the explanation is that all the details where we got the Torah and how we got the Torah is a lesson for us. God wanted to tell us that the Torah is not belong to nobody. Nobody can say the Torah is mine, I am better than other person. Every Jew have a part in the Torah and every Jew have the same connection to the Torah like the biggest rabbi. That's why God wanted to give it in the desert, to give the Jewish person the lesson. It doesn't matter how much you know, it doesn't matter how advanced you are. Even if you know a little bit, if you, even if you just want to start, somebody 30 years old, 40 years old, doesn't matter which age, want to start to learn the Torah, so somebody will tell him, now you want to start. You're so far away, go learn something else. So the answer to him is no. He has the same connection to the Torah like anybody else. And he has the right to start and to learn as much as he want. And nobody can make business on the Torah. The Torah is something that we got for free from God and God wants us to study and to learn it and to live accordingly. Then God looked for a place to give the Torah and all the mountains was fighting that each one of them wanted to be the one that the Torah will be giving on. Each mountain said how big he is and how special he is. And Al Sinai, the small mountain, was silent because it didn't have any specialty very small mountain. Well, God chose mountain of Sinai to be the mountain that the Torah will be giving. But if you stop for a moment and you think about it, it really don't make sense this idea. Because if God wants to give the Torah on a mountain because it's high, it's nice, you should choose Hartavo, like big mountains and over there you should give the Torah. And if mountain is not good because it symbolized somebody that uh, thinking that is uh, more than anybody else. So why the Torah was giving on a mountain? If he looks for humility or humble, so he should choose a valley or, or a flat place. But he chosen to put, give the Torah on a small mountain. What is the idea behind it? The answer is that God wanted to show us what is the right way to live according to the Torah and what is the right way to receive the Torah. We need to have the specialty of mountain and we need to have the specialty of a valley. And this is the combination of Har Sinai. Har is a mountain and Sinai is to be humble, to have humility. How you put two things extremely together? So it goes like this. Anything positive that a person wants to do, anything that has to do with what God wants, person need to be proud and nobody will be able to stop him from doing it and if he's trying to do something and anybody laugh from the idea or doesn't let him do it any type of difficulty he doesn't need to recognize the difficulty because this is what God wants and that's what he's gonna do this is proud in what God wants but when he get to the person himself it's not good to have pride in self-elevation person need to be humble person need to know that he's not perfect, he has what to do better, and he's not the best person in the world. Just look back in the history, David Amelech, the King David, he wrote in the Tehilim, I am like a worm and not a person. But this the same, this David, he was doing a big fight and a war, and he, he was the king of the Jewish people. How you can combine these two extreme ideas? So the explanation is that when it comes to something that has to do with what God wants, you're going to fight for it. When it has to do with uh, self-feeling that a person pride about himself and he thinks that is the best, that's no. person needs to be humble. And now look what happened in daily life. A person has a problem. He lost something, he lost his job. He need to move to a different place. Anything that he has to do with his personal life, when he thinks that he's the best and such a thing happened to him, he becomes very upset and he cannot get over it. Because how come to me this happened? But if he has the, the benefit of Sinai, of humble, 
So he thinks, yes, it happened to me. I'm not perfect. And not everything in my hand. And I need to do my best. And at the same time, he needs to be a mountain as well. At the same day that he's upset, if he has something good to do, he would do it. He's not going to say, anyway, nothing going well. I'm not going to do anything. No. And if you're going to say it's too confusing, we need to know that when God gave us the Torah, he gave us the possibility to be mountain of Sinai as well. And when we react accordingly, this is the best way to get prepared to receive the Torah again in this holiday Shavuot.